<laughs> Just do the intro. Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm John. And we're on a park bench, still at Ali Pali, as you can tell, because the sun's gone from there to there. It's yep. setting. It's behind us as well. So heaven knows what this will look like. But it's fine, because we can fix it in post, and I can do it in the edit. Ah. See what I did there? Yes. Yeah. I'd completely forgotten what we were going to talk about <laughs> at that point, actually. <laughs> I wonder why I was waiting for you to do the intro. Editing. Editing. With several people ask us, uh, a lot of the time for citation needed yeah. to the begin, they go, you filmed it ages ago, why isn't it out yet? When's it coming? When's it coming? When's yeah. it coming? And the answer is always, uh, maybe, yeah, what? Uh, don't set me up, I have no idea what you wanted me to say there. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to the word editing. Why is it taking so long? Editing. Editing. Yes. Um, it takes a long, long time to edit anything with uh, any kind of quality to it. So or anything with multiple cameras. Yeah. So obviously these these come out pretty much as soon as they're done. Yeah, we just chop out the bit where we're being or if I'm saying <laughs> I actually do have to cut that. I actually <laughs> I, I do have to cut you saying that. Um, <laughs> that was the intention. Uh... Yeah. Which means I sit down, I run through it once, uh, and I chop out bits, and I put it together, and I add the intro and outro, and by that point you've sent me the audio from this so it sounds good and the thing goes out. But anything more complicated takes a long time. And why do we have to edit? Because we sit here and talk for half an hour and you get a 15 minute video of it. Yeah, well, sometimes we can, well, sometimes maybe 90% 90, 90 of the bench makes it. But for citation needed, uh, what, a third of what we say in the room Something makes it into the final. Like, maybe even half of we're being, like, we were recorded for about 45 minutes. Yes. Maybe 40 minutes, maybe 35. It depends yep. how easily we can yep. talk crap about the topic. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you can yeah. see it's like 16 to 20 minutes, yeah. generally. Uh, which makes me a bit worried if we do this live show. Because I yeah. don't know what the audience... We're going to have to manage audience expectations on yeah. that one. Um, and for Game On... So, yeah, we should talk about Game oh, On, Oh, yeah, Game actually, On. Because we haven't talked about that on the bench yet. So we were in YouTube studios? Yeah. In January filming it. How did it come yeah. about? Um, it came out because I've been wanting to do something like this for ages. And one of the first ideas that came out was, was doing Matt versus Tom. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we realised a couple of things. Firstly, no. <laughs> Secondly, that is just Ant versus Deck from Saturday Night Takeaway. Oh, God. <laughs> Which one am I? Am I Deck? I'm you're Deck. On the, no, you're on the left. You're Ant. Oh, yeah. Um, you're also the taller one. Yeah, you're totally Ant. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, so we realised that, that I wouldn't quite... I think teased out and teased out and teased out, and we worked out that what we should actually do is get YouTubers with different skills, play games, let's, let's see if this works. And it's always an experimental format like this, and it's always weird to try a new format on a channel when I've gained loads of subscribers from, from tech explanation and science videos, because they go, what the hell is this? This is something different. Uh, yeah, which is exactly what happened. The first one is, what the hell is this? This is something different. Yeah. But as ever, anyone who doesn't like it doesn't tune in for the second episode. Which is fine. That which, is exactly what you yeah. should do. Like, no one's forcing you to watch anything. <laughs> but you're only watching this because you enjoy it, I assume, because otherwise you're some kind of masochist, or is it sadist? I can never remember. No, masochist. Masochist, masochist. right. You so masochist. That's, so that's why. Clear thumbnails, clear description. I'm not going to try and fool anyone to watching something like that. But you know what? We've got, we've got a good number of people watching it. I'm happy yeah. with that. And I... Always pilot new stuff, because otherwise you end up being typecast Stuck in a rut. one thing. <laughs> you end up being the guy who does that. Sean Bean. <sighs> Different thing, though. Yeah. Because, you know, <laughs> yeah. he, gets, he gets paid a lot of money for being Sean Bean. He's yeah, very well, good at it. That's a good point. But what you generally see for most, most for any TV series, now old school TV, new school internet stuff, is you start with, this is a good idea. This, oh, there's the one where it gets popular. And then it's just diminishing returns on... Things you might not know will end at some point yeah. because it's going to have that, that diminishing returns on the format. Um, so you keep trying new stuff until something else works. And that's where this came along from. That's where Citation Needed came from. Yeah. That's where a load of stuff... There's, there's stuff I've killed off in the past. There's stuff... There's like two or three series, I think, that have gone unlisted at some point. Mm. It didn't work out what, uh, what would... Because uh, it, it didn't work out. wasn't interesting... Game on but seems not, to be okay. Not, not everything's going to so be a hit. And we were right. aiming for good production values with that. Right, so this is this yeah. is why the edit takes so long on that and citation needed. Because production values, and we'll talk about that at some other point. And the pre-production for that was huge as well. You and David... David wrote, I think he, he researched and wrote uh, about 12 games in total. We play-tested some of them. We He made props for all of them. 
Um, the playtesting footage is wonderful and we'll never make it to air because I'm not editing that. Um, but we spent an entire day before we filmed the real thing with yeah. um, some lovely people who came along to help yeah, in play test. Yeah, in YouTube Studios, which, like, YouTube Studio was amazing. They had yeah. that set up. It looked wonderful. And then uh, you, D- you DOP'd all that, <laughs> which... Uh, <laughs> Big studio, we had one, two, three, four or f- five. five. five we had five cameras and me and then Josh was assisting me. Yep. Uh, <laughs> there are bits that are out of focus, which are really annoying, but not, neither of us were stood in front of that camera. <laughs> yeah, five cameras, one camera up. It's like very, very low budget. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make it look as TV as possible, I suppose, as nice as possible. Yeah, so this is why Citation Needs is filmed with GoPros is because... It's very hard to f*** up. <laughs> it, well, it's because if you shoot for the moon and miss, yeah. people go, well, this is a terrible panel show. Yeah. If you just point GoPros, people don't have that expectation that it's going to be this, this wonderful thing. And I think we were lucky with the the um, episode, we, the series we saw, the series of Citation Need we shot in a studio. Yeah, with the black background. We yeah. actually had big fancy cameras rolling on them. Yes. But uh, the, the, the memory card's corrupted and we couldn't use that. We put the GoPros there as a backup and I yes. think it looks better because of that. Yes, it does. Because on big cameras, yeah. we would have looked like we were doing a terrible job of looking good. Yes. Rather than... A good job of looking mm. like we fit on YouTube. Yeah. But Game On was, was like, we've got a proper set, we've got five cameras. And then we've got an enormous amount of footage to edit. Yes. Because each game actually took maybe one and a half to two times as long as you see on screen. There's a load of pre-roll, a load of post-roll. We have to explain the rules. Yep. There's all the time when there was an adjudication decision that you won't see. Um, So fortunately, I I, I know a wonderful editor uh, called Michelle Martin, who I thoroughly recommend for for your editing work, (laughs) um, who gave me a good rate on on editing the episodes down. So she did the rough cut. Uh, She professional editor. So she watched everything, again, having been there in, the in the studio. That's the thing with multiple yeah. cameras. You, we spent an entire day filming. Yeah. And that means there is an entire day's worth of footage on five cameras. So it's five days' worth of footage. It's about a quarter of a terabyte of footage, something like that. And it's you, a lot. And to know whether you need to use that bit or not, you have to watch it. You, yeah. You, you can't... And you have to work out. So she was making edit notes as we went along. Well, this is the plot here. That's happened. Oh, that's a callback to that. So that when she came back to it, she'd go, right, we need that bit, that bit, that bit, that bit, that bit. Now we have to make all the dialogue make sense. Now we have to make sure that the audio matches. So at, even after that rough cut, then it comes to me. And I tweak it, and I add the graphics, and then I send it to you. Industry trick, while I think of it, yep. with editing, if a camera shot changes, yeah, sometimes to cover up um, things... Oh, uh, oh yeah, missing. yeah, yeah, because people get angry at me when I do the tech explanation videos to camera. I get so, why do you have a second camera? Why do you keep cutting to that? We don't, we, you know, we, we don't have that short attention span. You can, you can absolutely just stay on one camera. So yes. on YouTube, you can jump, ch- jump cut. Yes. Or if you, for a vloggy kind of thing like this, you can just jump cut, as in just chop the stuff out and it jumps. I hate jump cuts. It is the only place where that works is YouTube. It's, we, yep. we, have taken quite a bit of getting used to doing yeah. it on this because it is so odd for us because we come from a more and I don't like traditional do- media yeah, background. And I don't like doing it. So I set up a second camera and that's like, not always because you, in order to keep it in the viewer's mind, you have to do a, a cut to it every so often. But frequently, if I've flubbed a line, I will stop, rewind myself about five seconds, like match position, everything like that, say the line again, do it right, and hide that by cutting to the other camera for a bit. And you'll see that yeah. in everything. You won't, you won't see that, in fact, in everything. Because yeah, and, and frequently, I will cut the audio at a different point. Yeah. The audio cut will not be when the video cuts. It'll be seconds later because I've matched my mouth movements and gestures. If you want to read up on that, it's called L cuts and J cuts. Yes, and it's what everyone... I mean, even the flash cuts on here are slight L cuts yeah. because it seems more natural. And you'll see other YouTubers doing that. Yeah. You'll see the start of their sentence um, yeah. going before they've cut it. it it's... Yeah. L-Cuts and J-Cuts are one of the first things you learn for making video editing yeah. good. So, uh, that's the cut. So, so you, have, you have Michelle does the rough cut. Yep. You do the... Uh, I do... I, I tweak, cut. fine cut, I lock the video down, and I do the graphics, which take ages. <laughs> the, the, there is a... In Thursday... When's this one coming out? The black hole one, which will have come out by now, the, the graphic effect and everything like that took, uh, took a good while to do. Yeah. But it's, it's got to work. You've got to make those graphics work. I just... Oh, it's finicky. It takes ages. And then I pass it to him. And at this point, the cut is what's called locked. Yep. Because 
to do the audio edit. They, they've been working in Adobe Premiere, and the, the way we know how to do it is to export that separately. Yep. And I get um, the audio as lots of different clips, like he's yep. got in his thing, and then I m make it sound like one complete thing rather than lots of different cuts. Yeah, which... Um, so we record it yeah. on two mics. We had one pointing at the... Two of these, really. Yeah. One, one pointing at the contestants, one pointing at the sofa. And then we had the one pointing at us in the commentary booth because we could not locate a proper close-up <laughs> mic. So that's why the audio sounds a bit weird on that one. You've done your damnedest. And then, as we say, we, we do it all for free with what YouTube can provide us on the day. Yeah. And stuff like... There's air conditioning on in the yeah. background of there's the sirens commentary sirens going by. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I go through and make it sound like one homogenous thing. Yes. Which can take a while. The sound yep. can take okay. The first one takes the longest. I can create loads of yep. presets. I know what each mic, mic, yep. mic uh, what each mic needs, EQ wise, compression yes. wise, just to make it all <laughs> dogs everywhere. <laughs> it's what we get for filming in a park. Um, it's fine. It's just a rough cut. Rough, rough, <sighs> rough, rough. So in audition, I can drag in his video. I'm yep. just ignoring that terrible joke there. <laughs> and I can watch the video as I edit the audio together, yes. and then I bounce it out to a stereo WAF. Yep, and I pull that back into the project, and, the, uh, and then it goes out, and that's it. And that is such a job. We're actually... I would have liked a few more weeks to do it, but we said it was going to be out in February, and otherwise it would never yeah. have got out. So we're actually editing these as we go. So there's a, bit of, there's a constant, oh, I've got to get this one out, got to get this we, one out. We, we've had a couple of weeks where we have yeah. seen nothing. We have had, <laughs> haven't lost contact with each other for any more than like eight it's hours. Kind of annoying. <laughs> um, we filmed it and we've got we're doing the bench, yeah. which takes a lot of time and planning. <laughs> and then we went to Estonia, and yeah. then before and after Estonia, we've been editing the yes. game on. And then you've been off in Hong Kong, and yeah. I'm going off to Germany, and this all sorts of things. One set of like work, six hours where we can yeah, do where the we can bench. record the park bench, and then we'll get home, and he'll send the audio to me, and I'll edit the video. Yeah. The point is, editing something like that takes so much time. And the reason that we cut between them is to hide cuts, is to cut things down. Um, citation needed, again. So much gets cut out of that. That, that wide I, shot. Yeah. You know, the whole point of that wide shot. I'm is. speeding up our reactions. This is the secret. The, the, the reason that... I mean, sometimes Gary really is that fast. Yes. Like, genuinely. <laughs> I'm not, not lying all the time about that. He's really fast. Yeah. But the very first gag, when I read out the, the title, and then you immediately turn it into a dodgy... Actually, you just do immediately turn it into a dodgy pun. That's immediate. <laughs> but, like, Gar Gary's songs. There been a couple of times when Gary... Apologies to the nation of Chile. Formal apologies to the nation yes. of Chile. Um, but before that, he also did the uh, Too Much Cheese Will Kill You song. <laughs> um, which was entirely like that. But there was about a four or five second pause between each one because we cut out the laughter, and it, which gave him time to think of it. Yeah. We cut out a lot of our laughter because you don't want to... <laughs> you've seen, a lot a, you've of it. seen us on here when yeah. it's just the two of us, you can see how long we can laugh for and you even yeah. see the cut point for there. On that one, there are four, all four of us are together. Yes. We give each other the giggles just by looking at each other, <laughs> trying not to laugh. There is so much of us trying not to laugh. All gets cut because that's not entertaining. And there's stuff like... The, the, this, this citation needed format came off the Trivial Pursuit based yep. one, which came off a game we were playing in the pub. Yeah. It is just like a pub comp. It is exactly what we what we talk yeah. about in a pub. So we have, like everyone else does in a social situation, the lull. You've been talking for a few minutes and you just... <sighs> and then you carry on. But Do we have to? That was quite nice. Sorry. <laughs> we have got a lovely view. Yeah, we have. London over sunset. sunset. Yeah. Sorry, do carry on. I, that, you, you, yeah. we, we do bits like that in this sort of resort yeah. that will cut out or where we go. And um, <laughs> it generally gets cut. Citation either gets cut down, everything gets cut down. It's, it makes it more interesting to watch. Yeah. It, the, that's how TV works, that's how everything works. Everything works. Apart from the vloggers who will just do a 30 minute uh, piece of camera without editing. Which has its place, but the. The, the reason yeah. jump cuts came in is because that is, <laughs> if, if you've got minimal tools and yep. minimal oh, experience, two tools, that right, yeah. uh, that's the easiest way to edit it, and that's yep. how that's come about. And we try and do one better yeah. most of the time. Yeah. Other times we just smash cut to something else. Why did you pick that? <laughs> you don't even know what I think. No, I don't, because he hasn't done it yet. <laughs> the 
They can just look at us, enjoy the view. Yeah. It's a good view.